worried their kids are forgetting what they've learned over the summer. There's a way they can get re-energized. And what better way to do that than with some hands-on experiments? And it's happening this week at St. Catharines in St. Paul. Joining us this morning are Dr. Jessica Taylor from NASA and Dr. Tony Murphy from St. Kate's STEM program. Good morning to both of you. Great to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Well, first off, let's talk about this, this goal of this effort and what you hope uh, to accomplish uh, with the kids who are part of this event. Okay. So the effort this week, really, the students were actually showing research that they conducted using the GLOBE protocols that are involved in the program. And so for two nights, they showed their research to all of the attendees, or the uh, 130 attendees that are at this meeting this year. And this is really a global event, isn't it? It is, it is. We have over 20 countries that have come to this workshop and it's an opportunity for everyone to interact and engage and build relationships so that way after this workshop continues we can even have students interact beyond. So having students in the U.S. being able to talk to students in Africa and the Czech Republic and, and all around the world. And this happens to be right here in our backyard for the big North American uh, part of this effort. That's just terrific. And I understand there's going to be testing as well. You mentioned this off the top, uh, including some of the pond water. So they're actually kind of getting that hands-on experience and getting, getting a little dirt under their fingernails here. Yes, so there's different protocols or ways of taking measurements that the students learn about and they are involved in soil, water, uh, the air around them and really looking at the different aspects and qualities of those areas. And we're looking at some video here. Is this some of the testing that the students are a part of this weekend? Yes, yeah, so, week? so some of the, so what you're seeing here is some of the protocols and the way that the students actually take the measurements and then they conduct their research based on what they find in the environment. Now what are they pulling out of the screen there as we look at this image? So the, uh, the students right now are doing a macro invertebrate study. So they're looking at the tiny uh, animals that live in the water. And these are a good indicator of the quality of the water. The numbers and the different species that live in the water give you an idea of the quality of the water. And obviously the goal of this whole effort is to get kids interested in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Why is that so important these days, doctor? Well, I mean, really from a scientific literacy, we want the public in general to be able to understand more about science. And then um, even particularly from a NASA perspective, really engaging students, not just reading about science, but mm -hmm. doing science helping them have the skills to be able to be prepared to go into that level of workforce, to go into STEM. And, and with, I would think with this kind of an effort, they get to see how exciting science can be. Absolutely. I mean, they get a chance not only to do the science, learn about valid scientific protocols, how we take measurements all in the same way, but they'll get a chance to engage with scientists as well. I, I think when I was a kid going through school, you know, in, in junior high, middle school, it was more read about it and then when we got to high school we actually got to do some uh, you know activities mm -hmm. and that's what really makes the difference it seems yes you really have to engage students particularly at the elementary level because we know from research that we lose students at fourth grade in their interest in science and so we really need to engage and globe is a great way of engaging students so that they actually do the science they go out into the field and take the measurements well and we hear so much about uh, a lot of college grads these days and other fields who are having a hard time finding work but we know when we talk about STEM and those college grads, those are those folks are really in high demand. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, NSF actually says that there's about two million spots, uh, two million jobs that are unfilled right now right. because we just don't have the the people with those skills to fill them. So STEM is the way to go. Yeah. So kids, if you're thinking about uh, what you'd like to do for your future, there you go. Uh, you've got a job waiting for yeah, you there, yeah. and a fun one too. Yes. And exciting. Yeah. And very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for bringing this information to us, and uh, we we wish you all all the best, Dr. Taylor and Dr. Murphy. Thanks for being with us, Thank and uh, good luck with the effort. Thank, Thank you. you. You bet.